Are you thinking about moving to Bowie? Then this video is for you. Here are my five things that you must know before moving to Bowie, Maryland. All right, so first thing is Bowie is a really popular city. I'm gonna say it's actually probably the most popular city inside of Prince George's County. Now, part of that is because it's fairly big. You know, I mean, you take spots like Glendale that are really pretty small, where Bowie is a large area and it has some really cool subdivisions. And you have all your older Levitt homes to, you know, stuff like Fairwood, right? I mean, you have a whole bunch of really cool things there with different vibes. But what I'm gonna say is, the location is the first really big thing to know. It's really convenient if you need to work in one of the surrounding cities. There are so many choices around us being in the Washington metropolitan area, right? I mean, there's a lot of military bases, there's a lot of tech, there's a lot of healthcare stuff all in and around us. So if you need to go to DC, it's about 20 miles away. You need to go to Fort Meade or let's say Annapolis, also about 20 miles away. If you have to go to Baltimore, sure, it's about 30 miles away, but still not that bad. Now, one thing I am mentioning in miles, and that is because, look, being near DC, the traffic around here does suck. So if you're gonna go during rush hour, it can still take you an hour plus, right? It's just one of those things where there's a lot of, there's a lot of people and there's a lot of cars. So if you can go off, off hours, it's really not that bad from a distance perspective. Um, it's just the, the traffic, right? I mean, it is what it is. So the second thing I'd want to share with you is there's some really nice, easy access to restaurants and shopping and grocery stores, right? So on the grocery store front, you have Wegmans over in Woodmore Town Center. You have Harris Teeter right across from um, uh, Free State Shopping Center. You have little specialty places like Mom's Organic. And, you know, there's, so there's several, and of course you have like your Giant and Safeway and all those kinds of guys, right? So plenty of grocery stores, easy access to them. Then you have, um, maybe you wanna do some home improvements, right, when you get into your home. Well, good thing is there's a Home Depot and a Lowe's. Uh, they're basically across the street from each other. So again, nice, easy access to there. I went there a bazillion times when I lived in Bowie. Um, so I love having both of those as options. And then there's a lot of restaurants, right? I mean, again, you have Woodmore Town Center, you have Bowie Town Center, you have a couple of little, you know, shopping centers around, and there's, there's a lot of restaurants. I mean, there really are a lot of choices um, whether it's Jerry Seafood, Smoky Bones, uh, I don't know, you could go to Outback Steakhouse. There's, there's a ton of chains, there's some smaller places as well. So you're never gonna run out of options. And even if you do, again, Annapolis is just down the road, DC is just down the road. So lots of choices when it comes to shopping, restaurants, grocery stores, you name it. You can basically be pretty self-sufficient and just be right there in Bowie. So pretty sweet from that standpoint. The third thing to know is the architectural style and some of the housing choices in Bowie. So here, here's how to kind of look at it. You have um, the whole Levitt area, which is like Bel Air, which, you know, if you don't know, basically Levitt was a builder, went up and down the East Coast, and he really revolutionized how homes were built. And it's because they, they built in volume, right? So there's like this one section where there's basically two styles of Cape Cods, two styles of split foyers, two styles of ranchers, two styles of colonials. And now some are mirrored and this and that, some have a one car garage, some have a two, so on and so forth. But fundamentally, there's just two styles of each one of those models and they just scatter them throughout this whole area. And I mean, there's a ton of them. And you know, it, it, again, he did this through the whole up and down the East Coast. So the Levitt area, it, it's a big area. Uh, a lot of those homes were built in like the 60s and early 70s. And look, they're, they're still pretty solid homes. You know, a lot of people have renovated them, done all kinds of things to them. But fundamentally, that's sort of one style of home, right? So we have a ton of those. We, of course, have a whole bunch of townhouses. You then have, uh, if you, you know, maybe if you want something a little bit more simple, there are several different condo complexes. If you want something that's a little more fancy, you have places like Fairwood and Woodmore and Waterford. You know, you have some the subdivisions that are gonna have some really fancy single family homes. You can also, depending on, you know, your vibe and your commute, you go a little bit farther south towards like Pointer Ridge, you can go closer to Woodmore Town Center. You can go towards Old Bowie, right? I mean, so it depends. And even actually behind Old Bowie, you have some of the stuff that's in the trees there uh, people don't really know about. So again, there's some, it just depends on what kind of vibe do you want. You know, do you want the big single family home? Do you want the smaller single family home? Do you want the condo? Do you want the townhouse? We kind of got it all, which is pretty sweet. So 
definitely endless options as far as the housing stock is concerned. And with that, you know, pretty big price range as well. Now, I'm not gonna say anything is like super cheap or affordable because, you know, this is the DMV. Everything's kind of expensive, but there, there is the range, right? So more affordable to pretty freaking expensive. So Bowie has it all. The fourth thing on the list is there's actually a lot of stuff to do in Bowie, which I was actually pleasantly surprised while living there. I didn't realize um, at first, you know, how much was really there. You have the Bowie Bay Sox. If you happen to like baseball, they're a minor team. They play at the Prince George's Stadium, which is right next to the Home Depot off of 97. So it's super convenient and it's affordable. You know, it's one of those things where if you go try to catch like an Orioles game, it's really expensive. So it's awesome having the Bowie Bay Sox right there. Uh, go catch a game if you're into baseball. Now, if you like roller coasters or, you know, rides, stuff like that, well, Six Flags of America is also right here in Bowie. So super convenient. Go get yourself a season pass and go, go for some rides, man. Um, they also do all their theme stuff like Halloween, so on and so forth. So definitely pretty cool. If you like rides, Six Flags, super convenient. If you like history, well, we have the Bel Air Mansion that you got to go check out. We have a radio and TV museum. We have a railroad museum. You know, there's some, some pretty cool stuff that you wouldn't necessarily think. I mean, more than just like the movie theater. I mean, of course, there is a movie theater. You know, there is all the escape rooms and all the normal stuff that you would expect. But we also have a little bit more. So pretty cool on as far as things to do in Bowie. Now, finishing up our list is you got to know that Bowie has some really lovely outdoor spaces. You know, so... First, you have Allen Pond, which is pretty huge. You have a pond, you have an amphitheater, you have like little gazebos, a walk and trail around, little playground tot lots, you have ball fields. I used to play soccer over there as a kid. You know, it's it's pretty awesome just by itself. There's even actually a little skating rink uh, right in the, in the parking lot there. So you have Allen Pond. You also have in the past decade or so, they've redone a lot of the like the playground sets and a lot of like the little subdivision type parks, right? Um, it just happened to be when they did it is we, Leo, our oldest now, who, um, he's nine going on 10, you know, we had him when we lived in Bowie and it was awesome to be able to go enjoy all these like little playgrounds with like fresh brand new sets. Um, they're really pretty quality. You know, it was, it was really pretty awesome. There's also some great trail systems. You have the WMB, uh, right over to like Saddlebrook. There's off of like racetrack road. There's a couple spots where you can kind of go in there. Uh, my wife actually used to walk her horse and I'd ride my bike, maybe we'd walk our dogs over there. So that was super fun. So again, plenty of like little walking paths to like the little pond stuff. Um, it's just, there's some really pretty spaces. So again, I, I love all the trees. I love all the outdoor spaces there. And you wouldn't necessarily know it just like when you look up houses or think about some of this stuff. But again, pretty cool on, on the uh, outdoor spaces front. So big plus for me on that. You know, overall, Bowie is a pretty great place. My wife and I enjoyed our time there. We did grow out of our home and, you know, did move on, but it's still a great place and we've had a lot of clients buy and sell there. Um, I love all the trees. I love all the amenities. I love the easy access to so many things. And, you know, again, it's, it's a great commuter location. It's a pretty cool place. So if you wanna learn more about Bowie or the surrounding areas, check out our other videos. Shoot us a DM if you have any questions at all. We'll be happy to help. I can't wait to see you in the next video.